Merry Christmas, guys. I'm a sucker for punishment when it comes to technology. So I bought my first ever TV. Would you believe it? In my life, I bought a TV. A reason why I've not bought TVs is because I knew smart TVs are a complete shambles. And this one is no different. <laughs> this model, uh, 43 Nano 79, um, actually, it's coming across as Nano 79 TND on the app, has a bunch of software issues. Um, even though it says that it's like Apple AirPlay compatible, it doesn't, it's unable to seemingly connect. It did work briefly with one period and then I just cannot get it working again. The YouTube casting is unstable. The, the LG Web TV app doesn't work. It cannot find the TV. The remote control is actually not too bad with this little pointer, but the voice search is pretty broken. When I first got it installed by LG, in fact, the sound was pretty awful, but only until I changed it to like sound settings for wall, then it sounded okay. But yeah, I'm, even though I bought this and I do kind of have buyer's regret, I guess th there's no way of buying a 43 inch um, panel with, with speakers that is just simply not smart, is there? Let's, please correct me if I'm wrong. This was about 800 and something dollars and uh, they're just bemoaning on the home theater Reddit that I just didn't buy an, o an OLED screen, which is about $3,000. So $3,000 versus $800. But still, smart TVs suck, guys. Best avoid. Bye. Oh, I noticed that the LG supported Miracast, but when I filed a bug, I couldn't get it working. It says that basically Arch is not supported as a source. I also noticed a friend mentioned that I should get a Chromecast and, and avoid smart TVs. Cool, but the particular you know, USB-C Chromecast just doesn't seem available in Singapore. I don't know where to get it. FYI, I'm on 03.10.60 of the software. Why can't I just be a date?